Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs and for this review we're going to be looking at the DC Universe Classics Beast Boy figure. It's actually a pretty cool figure. It's not the best or anything particularly special, but it is a good figure and I wanted to review it for you since he was in the second season of Young Justice a little bit. he, As far as accessories go, he comes with the bird version of himself, which is... I'm pretty sure it's the same bird as the uh, Wonder Twins pack. Not positive, but I'm pretty sure. And it has the posable wings. It's actually detailed really well. It's probably the best bird accessory that I've seen. I know there was this one that came with Falcon from the Marvel Legends, which is pretty good. It's a little bit bigger, but it has no articulation. And it's not quite as realistic looking, I think. So, either way, this is pretty cool, and it's a nice little display piece. Decent paint job, nice dry brushing, and that kind of thing. The figure stands a little bit shorter than most, because he's supposed to be shorter than most. Only about five and a half inches tall, so he fits in nicely. There are a couple common problems with this guy. One is that the hip, his right hip in particular, has trouble going all the way in. As you can see, it's kind of cockeyed. This one's better than most, but a lot of them end up staying like that. And the reason is it's part of how they built the hip on this guy. I don't know why. They don't quite line up right. I'm taking them apart, and it's kind of a pain in the butt to fix. But it is a little bit of an issue, not too much, though. And then another issue is that the shoulder discs the joints, the ball disc, or the ball joint itself is never cut quite right on either side. There tends to be always a problem. As you can see, the uh, flat part down here is lower than the cut is, and it comes all the way out to about here, where it was supposed to be cut, or at least where they thought it was going to be cut, and instead the disc is over there. So it's not a real big deal. I mean, it's still perfectly functional, but it is always, almost always miscut and looks a little bad if you look too close. Just in case you're wondering wondering about problems, those are them. The rest is pretty good. He's got a nice head sculpt with good paint. The hair has shading in it. The eyes and everything are painted well. He's got a little bit of shading in the purples. He's got some sculpted hair on the arms and hands. And he's got a little belt, which is new. And he's got newly sculpted boots, which I like a lot. It's a nice sculpt, and they did a good job painting them. He's got all the standard DC articulation. The head on the ball peg, doesn't really move up and down at all, ball disc shoulders, that's another issue actually, is um, the way they made the shoulders, that happens. They packed them in there really tight and you end up screwing up the paint because this purple paint is kind of a weird soft paint and the way the shoulders are, if you move them too much, you're going to get chunks missing, so be careful about that. He does have a bicep swivel, double jointed, or I mean single jointed elbow, the wrist swivel, fist on both hands. Ab crunch, waist twist, standard hips, like I already said, a thigh swivel, single jointed knee, and a single pivot in the foot. There's technically a rocker in his foot, but you're not going to get a whole lot out of it without trimming some plastic. Um, the shoulder, the ball discs, the swivel that lets the arm come forward, like this, actually has like a rubber o-ring on the inside that's holding it in place so that's really not going to ever become loose. It's a really nice design for the joint. I don't know if all DCUC figures have that. I haven't opened too many up but I have on him and it, it, they did a really good job designing that other than the shoulders being too tight. So for every good thing there's a bad thing I suppose but I do like the way they designed that. So there it is. There's Beast Boy. I do recommend getting the figure but just be aware that there are some issues and you may run into more. So just be aware of that. So thanks for watching guys. Stay tuned for more figure reviews, some custom figures and other good stuff. And in the meantime, keep collecting.